Okay, let us consider here a curvilinear motion. You are familiar with curvilinear motion? This one is called as curvilinear motion. In the curvilinear motion from this point to this point, the particle is moving along a constant radius. And this radius is constant from this point. And this one is called as radius r, which is normally represented by rho, but we are using equals to r. So, when the fluid particle is moving from point P to point Q, so it has a two types of velocity possible. One is this velocity possible and one is this velocity possible. So, this velocity is possible, it is called as tangential velocity and is normally is a tangential velocity is basically called as V theta. Angle is changing no? That is called as V theta, that is called as tangential and this one is called as radial. So, it goes along radial, this is V theta. This is we have defined in the previous section. Or aapko yaad hoga ki apne VR jo hota hai, that was defined as DR by D, DT and V theta. So, it is a rigid motion basically equal to what? Omega. So, if they are ma making a motion equal to what? Omega, then V equal to V theta, we simply write as omega multiplied by R. That is a form familiar formula. And what is omega? Omega is nothing but rate of change of angular displacement with respect to time. So, if this component equal to 0 and we only investigate this value, that is called as vortex flow. So, in vortex flow, your radial component of velocity will be equals to 0 and your velocity tangential component that is V theta will exist. So, give the title vortex flow. So, vortex flow is that flow for which the radial component is 0. This vortex flow is basically classified in two basic category. One is due to external torque. The fluid is rotating. So, for rotation we require torque. So, it is one thing is based on external torque. So, if you give external torque, then the flow may be rotational and without external torque. So, if you observe the flow in a sink. So, the flow is in a sink. Is it going to occur like this? With external torque. Kitchen ka sink. And is it going like this? And the flow in an external torque is example of mixer, washing machine. So, where you are external torque. So, you are generating the whirlpool by external torque. You are generating the whirlpool without external torque. So, this one is called as force vortex. External agency is present. Force convection, force vortex. Free convection, free vortex. Heat transfer without any external agency is called as free convection. So, one example is whirlpool in river, second example is flow, normally we call that as a sink. Example number 3, the flow around bends, example is washing machine. In free vortex, the element will rotate above the center, but when it rotate above the center, it remains like this. So, is it an irrotational flow? This one is irrotational flow, because these fluid particles are rotating above this center, but does not rotate above its own center. So, this one is case of irrotational flow. Rotational flow means that you have to rotate about this point as well as about its own axis also. So, this is the case of a rotational flow. Call, call is 0. Now, what happens here? The fluid particle was like here. And the fluid particle will go like this. It is changing the direction. Is it rotating about its own axis? This is rotational flow. It is rotating about this axis as well as right about its own axis. So, the fluid lines will go like this. The fluid is rotating this way. The fluid is rotating this way. If you draw the tangent to this, is it a V theta component? The curvilinear, you have seen this, it's tangential. This one is called as V theta component. So v theta is proportional to what? R. It is assumed that all these particles are rotating with the fixed rotation equal to omega. And just as our omega badega, vice versa our product V theta bhi badega. So V theta our kya ho jayega? V theta basically kya hota hai? Omega into R hota hai. V theta is given by omega into r. As r will increase, V theta will also increase. If we try to draw the gra graph here, all the particles are same omega velocity. There is rigid body motion. And if you try to draw the graph, will the graph will go on increasing like this. So, this is the graph. This graph clearly passes through 0. So, this time we have V theta is proportional to r. Omega constant raiga. In this case for this one, V theta is inversely proportional to r. It means that R is less, V theta is very large. So, the graph will go like this and it will follow the curve like this. This one is rectangular hyperbola. This one is R and this one is V theta. This one is R and this one is V theta. In the case of whirlpool, when you are having a rotation about the fixed point, you require energy. And that to rotate this fluid particle about the point O, 
whatever the energy required was taken from the system and therefore the system energy will continuously decrease whereas in this case we are applying the external torque so we are adding the energy also so whatever the energy was decreasing here was added by external source and therefore the total energy will remain constant so in this case total energy remains constant and here total energy will continuously decrease क्योंकि जब भी वो नेचुरल इसमें आएगा वोटेक्स में आएगा तो पहले ऐसे ऐसे घूमेगा वो जो भी पार्टिकल होगा या जो भी आपका लीव होगा और क्या बाद में वो बॉटम में जाके सेटल हो जाएगा जब वो सेटल हो जाएगा इसका मतलब उसके पास एनर्जी क्या हो जाएगी जीरो हो जाएगी लेकिन जब तक आप इसको एक्सटर्नल टॉर्क देते रहोगे तब तक वो घूमते रहेगा 